Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the new AI assisted natural posing technology for animation editing called AccuPose. AccuPose is trained on large sets of AI driven human motion data and pose presets that allow us to intelligently guide a character's posture based on motions organized by category that are suitable for your required animation scenario. Traditionally, when editing your character's pose via the Edit Motion Layer tool, you'd often need to adjust each bone and joint individually, which could be a time consuming and tedious process. However, AccuPose speeds up that process significantly by utilizing its AI-trained motion models that predict the required poses based on the scenario you select. You can access the AccuPose panel via the Animation menu by using the 9 numerical hotkey from the Animation tab of the Modify window and also directly from the toolbar. Upon opening the AccuPose panel, you'll see a new gizmo at your character's waist, which you can select and move to adjust the base transform and rotation values. You'll also see a number of effectors which can be used for easy pose adjustment. You can see how easy it is to use the hip effector to bring our character into a kneeling or sitting position, and rotate it to get him to lie on his side. The same goes for the arms which will move to a natural pose when adjusted. These are all based on the core training model, which contains a library of common poses like seated, lying down, kneeling, walking, etc. You'll also see expansion training models catering to specific categories of motions or styles. For example, under daily life, mobility will focus on movement styles like running or walking, once one of the poses are selected, manual adjustments will conform to that category's style. You can see the current model listed after one of its poses is applied. When a different model is applied, your manual adjustments will produce different results, as they will conform more closely to the style of the selected training model. You'll find tons more information on our website about how you can utilize these different training models into your animation workflow. Let's take a look at a practical scenario with a number of characters set up for scene blocking. You can see a number of poses available in the core training library here, and if we apply a simple seated one, we can use the mirror button to switch sides, and then use a combination of effectors in the move body section to generate a natural looking pose in very little time. If we apply a squat pose to our female character, we can then use a very similar process to get her into a pose of petting a cat. One of the main advantages of the AccuPose tool is its ability to accommodate manual adjustments made to any part of the body while maintaining realistic looking poses. As you saw earlier, there are also a large number of specialized training models that are helpful when you're dealing with a custom scenario. For example, with these two men having a conversation, it makes sense to utilize a specialized training model focusing on communication. We can start off with the template poses and customize them with a few simple clicks to simulate an argument. Under daily life, you'll also find a good collection of poses specialized towards phone usage. We can then apply a smart accessory, which will automatically apply correctly to the desired hand with very little need for refinement. Again, follow the process of first utilizing a pose in the relevant training model category, and then tweak the base position and effectors you want to give a customized look while still conforming to the original training model style that you selected. Husband is not impressed. There is also an entire library of training models for seated scenarios as well. We can utilize one for our female character here and adjust the effectors for her hands to give more life to her gesture. And then we can easily apply another to our waiter. For a more dynamic sort of pose scenario, we can go into the bare hand subcategory under combat, and then apply and customize a couple of more poses for these two naughty boys. You can see that it is easy to adjust the height for both punching and dodging in both instances, which again is a main advantage of the AccuPose tool. It allows us to create a dynamic looking scene like this in minutes, allowing for much more efficient workflow. That's it for this tutorial guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.